Hi, I'm David Kirk. This screencast is on using the Google Internet search engine. Right now, Google is the largest search engine on the Internet. Um, before that, Yahoo was the most popular. Um, now, one th thing you might wonder is how does Google make their money? Well, it's pay per click. Let's say that I search for the word shoes. And what comes up, uh, the first thing you may notice is that on the top there's some sponsored links and on the right side is a column of sponsored links. Now these companies, if you were to click on one of these companies on a sponsored link, for example Endless, this company just paid Google some money. How much? I don't know, but it's probably a matter of a couple of pennies or something like that. Now within the main body after the sponsored links of the search results, uh, what makes one of these rank up higher? Because let's say that you're a shoe manufacturer such as Kohan or something like that, then you would like your website to be ranked up higher. Well, Google uses a complex formula such as if the word shoes is in the domain name, for example, www.shoes.com. But also Google uses how many other websites have a link pointing back there. So like this Zappos.com, if enough other websites have hyperlinks pointing to Zappos.com, that helps them rank higher in the search. Okay, now let's look at some of the built-in Google features in search. One is the calculator. Uh, for example, if I do 5 times 6 plus 3. Well, this uses the built-in Google Calculator to go ahead and make your calculation for you. Also within the calculator is conversions. For example, 50 kilometers to miles. And so this goes ahead and does the calculation for you, the Google Calculator. Okay, another Google feature is their dictionary. If you type define colon, then a word such as Twitter, then Google will list the definition of the word Twitter from various online dictionaries. Okay, the next thing, let's look at refining your search. Let's say that you're interested in cats, more specifically, jaguars. I guess I should spell it right. Okay, now when I search for jaguars, looks like the first website has to do with the football team, Jacksonville Jaguars. And then if we scroll down, I'll bet you a lot of the websites have to do with the car jaguar. Now one thing, one way that we can refine our search is after the keyword that you type in, do a space and then a minus sign, then another football, another keyword such as football. What this does is search for websites with the word Jaguars, but exclude websites with the word football. And so that got rid of one of those websites anyway. Here's another football one. So obviously this website doesn't have the word football in it, but it's going to have something else. Such you, maybe you could remove the word Jacksonville. That took care of that. So what you can do is you type in a keyword and then you can exclude multiple keywords. But in front of each one of those keywords to exclude, you need a minus sign. And they're all separated by spaces, too. Uh, we, if we scroll down and we see websites on the Jaguar cars, we can do a minus car. And so then that will exclude those websites also. Okay, next thing is let's look at using quotations in our search. Let's say that you're going to Google yourself. And by the way, I recommend you Google yourself to find out if there's any information out on the internet that, um, just for your information. I'm going to type in David G. Kirk. 
which is my middle, uh, middle initial G. And then after I do a search, well, I can see already the first website that comes up says Karen G, then Kirk, comma, David S. So what this is doing is it's not only searching for websites with David G. Kirk, it's just work looking for websites with David G and Kirk in different orders. So if you want to keep your keywords in the exact order, order the keywords or phrase in the exact order you surround it by quotations and so now I should only see websites like that and by the way if you're gonna Google yourself not only unless you have a very distinct name you would probably want to add additional keywords after it such as for me I might put Dallas because I'm sure there's a lot of David G Kirks now there's plenty of other search operator features in Google and you can look those up yourself if you were to look up in Google the Google cheat sheet the first uh, item under the search is a one sheet with all these search operators that we talked about a lot of other ones that you can look at also